What's going on? I'll be what I'll be fitness gaming and you see the title of the video, you know why you're here. About to get ready for the gym. But before we get ready for the gym, we're gonna play some Domain Nightfall. Are we recording? Are we live? We're not live, but we are recording. Alright, cool. Alright, so I'm gonna have the deck tech in the description below so you can check that out. So we don't have to go through all of that again. Uh, but yeah, this deck has been performing very, very well. But of course, because I said that, now we're going to play and get vaporized, demolished, destroyed. Let's see what they got for us this morning. Alright, we're going to get our companion here. Alright, so we need a steam vent. We're going to keep this. Probably hammer time. I haven't played against hammer time, so I'm not sure how this matchup goes. And we're assuming it's hammer time. Could be like some death and taxes list as well. It can be anything. It can be Tron. It's modern, baby. No, it's hammer time. Alright. So now we need to... Do we kill this thing? Or do we play the sign of Draco? I think we play the sign of Draco here. the land that's good for us stone forge mystic into hammer time no okay interesting interesting So they can play it next turn. Okay, we have Leyline Binding. Is there anything? Huh. I'm trying to think. I think we just do we just attack here? Yeah, I think we just attack. I mean they could have hammer. I have to imagine they have hammer. We play this. Let's get a forest, preserve our life total. I really want another red source, but can't get too greedy. Play another Draco. We got the binding here for some type of protection in case they try to do something crazy. I don't, I don't, I've never, I've personally never played Hammer Time, so, that's, that could be a problem, but we do have some blockers for that. Okay, so 
what are they going to do here? Okay. All right. Guess that's not the worst. because we can't I'm I'm trying to think like what should we do next turn I think we just go blood break well it depends what we draw right we could just draw two tribal flames I mean a second tribal flame but we don't have the other red So I guess we're taking five. All right. Um, not a relic quarry. It's not worth killing anything here. I think we just have to go for the elf here. Roll the dice. Binding helix, that's not bad, actually. It's fine. There's nothing we can do about that. this back in case they have the ink moth well now we just have to pray We just need to make it out of this turn alive, brother. Activating Stoneforge.
Push it to the limit. Yeah! All right. That was a close call. All right, so let's see here. These are decent, I think. So we're going to take the Retreat to Coral Helm game plan out. I've mentioned that in the deck deck. That's normally what we take out because everything else is pretty consistent. Yeah, I think I like this setup here. Let's rock and roll. For I'm not sure if that's like a hundred percent dedicated uh, hammer time deck. I'm, I'm assuming, but I don't know. Maybe they should. I think I don't know. I've never played that deck. I just feel like they should have got hammer time. Right, the hammer one with the stone forge. If I'm missing something, comment at the bottom. Let me know. I know that deck's popular, but honestly, I have not played against it a lot. Mulligan. Okay, so we want to keep these two fetch lands. Well, it actually, it doesn't really matter. We're going to keep this, put this away. When you're playing this list, keep in mind Wind Sweat Heat does not get the Xander Lounge, which is really important because that's one of your triumphs. So unlike the other version, um, you always want to lead off with your non-wooded foothills fetch lands, where this version, like in a situation like this, you do want to lead with your wooded foothills because... You won't be able to grab the Xander Lounge with this. You can still grab the other Triumph and then grab Steam Vents. If you do make that small mistake. Alright, so. I think. We have a pretty decent hand here. Um, I think we're going to go Draco. And then... We have Leyline Binding, and we have some Burn Spells. And I think the game plan is going to be just riding this Draco to victory. I think that's what we need to do. Ooh, that's not a bad one, actually. But I still think we need to do this. And we'll play this next turn. Push it to the limit. Come on. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay, I see you. So this can hit their ink moth. All right. So things are looking good for us. So let's see. I think we want to do this, right? Now. The question is, do we pay the one? I'm going to let them draw a card. Reason is because I want to be able to blow something up if I have to be. If I have to and also to leave up Leyline Binding. I don't think it's worth paying one here. This is going to be able to chip away at them. Um, also, it serves as a way to protect us against they try to in, in, in case they try to do something. We also have leyline binding. Then, like I mentioned earlier, as soon as we saw our hand, the game plan we have for this game right now is we're just going to try to ride this to victory. We have some burn spells here that can help help us close the game. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen points of damage. All right.
think we just blow that up, right? Do we blow that up, though? Yeah. Let's just blow it up. Now we have Ley Line Binding on deck, and we have a lot of burn spells. Do we kill this guy? That's the question. Ooh, Charlotte's Agent. That's a good one. So many good, so many decisions here. All right. I think, I think what we do here is we play binding. I mean, not binding. What we do here for sure is we're going to play the Shardless Agent. And we're going to leave a binding. Tribal Flames. Perfect. You can have it, opponent. Alright. So now they have to kill us this turn. So the question is... No, we're going to leave. I was, I was thinking maybe we... We can just block. If they had that card that gives us something hexproof. Next turn we could just tribal flames them and lightning helix. good for us that means they don't really have anything awesome all right do we lay line binding anything here I don't think we care right Ooh, blood braid we could get cute and just cast the blood braid just for fun let's attack and see what happens gonna take it so I'm assuming they're gonna probably they have to block the Charlotte's agent and then we're just gonna lightning helix them or they could just uh, okay all right and then we're just going to Red, white, helix. All right, we got there. Sweet. Let's talk about the matchup here. All right, so we were playing against Hammer Time. Um, normally, I feel like those decks are a lot faster. Maybe I think opponent might have had slow hands in both games. But I could be wrong. I haven't played against that matchup a lot. But the times that I have played against it, they kill me like on turn two. So, not sure. But yeah, as you can see there, um, deck is very consistent. The Cascade creature hitting things that we need. Tribal Flames. Um, like I mentioned in the deck tech and in this video, most of the time when you're sideboarding things out, you're going to sideboard the Nile Quarry and the Retreat to Coral Helm. Because everything else is really, really consistent. And you want to keep your deck as consistent as possible. Those are the only cards there that I normally take out whenever I'm sideboarding things there. In that matchup, we've brought in the Cinder Vines, the Knight of Autumns, and the Consume Alls. I don't think there's anything else we need to bring in, but I could be wrong. I guess we could bring in an Unmourn Eagle and like take Hammer. 
but they can just kill us with other stuff so I don't think that is something we need um, I just think these are the only cards that we really need in that matchup and we don't have any one drops so consume all is pretty brutal but yeah that's all I would bring in in that matchup personally and I would only take out the retreat to Coral Helm and the Nile Cray. Excuse me. Anyways, my friends, I'm about to get ready to go to the gym, make some gains. If I was any misplays, any things I did incorrectly or, you know, whatever, comment at the bottom. Let me know. Any questions, let me know. Deck tech in the description below. Deck list in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, hit that notification button. I post daily. And again, my friends, thank you so much for watching and peace out.